Thank you, Giants. Welcome back to our channel. Hey, Jen Giants. Welcome back to our channel. We're back with another video, and as you can see, we're back in South Africa. I actually don't know if you're in South Africa. <laughs> How people know? How people do they have know? seen me. People have hey. seen me. Guys, you've seen me. I need to see me in the streets. <laughs> but again, we're back with another video, and it is a down video. If you're new to the channel, please don't leave without subscribing. If you're a regular Jen Giants, welcome back, baby. So, this is a highly requested video video and um, I know quite a lot of you have been asking about travel agents how we save for our travels etc etc um, we will address that in another video um, right now we're just focusing on Vietnam and the visas for Vietnam and our story time and how we actually ended up getting to Vietnam okay yeah. and before we start with that I just want to say thank you rather should I say we want to say thank you so much for the engagement guys thank you so much for the engagement on our videos um thank you for the um likes the comments i think your comments literally just took us back to the yeah. vacation you're just like oh my god this is so much fun and the little things you Honestly, I feel like Jenga Giants are so observant. Yeah. The little things that you guys pick up, I'm just like, when did I say that? And I have to go back and I'm like, oh, I said that. <laughs> but you guys are so observant, but love ya. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much, you guys. Um, so yeah, so this is just gonna be like story time, how to get to Vietnam if you're interested and how to get your visas. Yeah, so. How we got to Vietnam, yeah. actually without any further ado, let us get right into the video. Yeah. So, um, Vietnam, in all honesty, was last minute. Mm. The trip itself wasn't last minute, but the destination was last minute. You feel like, like the trip wasn't last minute? I don't think the trip was last minute. I feel minute. like I the mean, trip was last minute. But you didn't that, know where you were going. Exactly, hence I'm saying the destination was last minute, but in terms of the trip... Also, I'm you like, didn't I'm, know you were leaving the country. I knew. No, babe. I be, okay. You can't just assume, baby. Yeah, me, na, me and my God. <laughs> me and my God. And... You can't just assume. But anyway, so obviously it's my birthday. As the Gentle Giants know, yeah. anniversaries, birthdays, and gee, random trips here in the, the Gentle Giants, which are us. We love traveling. We love exploring the world, seeing new so, places so and all of that. So, telling us a baby. So, exactly. Like, in, I don't know about man. He's a it's, eh? Like... Eish. But yeah, so the time came for, for obviously my birthday, time to travel and all of that. And we came up with numerous destinations, yeah. right? However, these destinations had quite a few issues, logistical yeah. issues. There were just too many issues associated with these destinations. I actually tried three before we got to Vietnam. Tried the first one, couldn't work. Second one, didn't work. Third one, didn't work. So we finally got to the fourth one. And we're like, okay, finally, we're going to Vietnam. Let us do this, right? Decide on Vietnam, check, is the country open first of all? Mm. Yes, it's open. Uh, they're allowing people to come in, South Africans to come in. So we're like, okay, cool. What do we need? We need visas. So in the past for the Egypt trip, I used a service provider to actually get our visas. So for your visa application, you need your bank statement, three months bank statement, pay slips, uh, proof of employment. employment. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All those type of things. So actually prove that you're gonna come back because there are certain people that leave the country but don't actually come back or they go to those countries and try and hustle there and all those type of things. Mm -hmm. So they actually want you to prove that you are going to be coming back to your country so your employer needs to... You must tell you them what in your seven. Exactly. But if you're not employed... But if you're not employed... For Egypt, if you're not employed, luckily you can just say unemployed and it doesn't really affect your visa from people that have uh, requested that. Are you employed? Are you not employed? And those type of things. So if you're not employed, don't worry. You can still travel. Mm -hmm. But they might ask for other documents so vietnam also required visas we're like oh okay cool simple process go to the same guy service provider we're like hey dude we're going to vietnam uh, hook us up and all of that then it comes back it's like no dude you guys cannot go to vietnam choose another destination because people that have been trying to go to vietnam have been having issues there's been waiting periods of about two to three weeks some uh, getting denied access to the country so just choose another destination and save yourself the stress because on top of that we had already booked all the other things because apply yeah right. because when you apply for a visa you actually need to provide your flight your accommodation your travel insurance all those type of things so we actually had to book before applying for, uh, visa. for the visa. Yeah. So this guy's like, no, choose another destination. 
then we're like, no, we're gonna do it ourselves. Then, and I think another reason why we said no, we're gonna do it ourselves, and um, we're not gonna use this guy is because the travel agent we're using. So we used flight center to get our flights, and yeah. we used um, the person who was helping us at flight center was Bobby. Amazing, amazing Shout guy. Out so, to Bobby. <laughs> so if you are trying to use flight center, ask for Bobby. Very amazing, efficient, always with you every step. You're always able to call, WhatsApp, everything. So, yeah. um. Yeah, so another reason why we we were like, screw that guy, we'll do it ourselves, right? Was because Flight Center was telling us that no, it's not a major thing. You just need, um, you, 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 you just need, you can get to Vietnam, you can get a visa. They have people that have been there recently and you just need a letter of what? Invitation, invitation right? So I was just like, okay, so where can we get that letter? The guy from the visa said we need the letter we can only get from the embassy in Vietnam. And flight center was saying, no, you can get the letter from your accommodation to say that, no, they are inviting you to the country. You have booked, Understand. you stay with them and you should be good. I guess sharp. in that case, also because Fusion um, Results was amazing with their communication. Top tier. Quickly email. They also now they are unaware of this thing. Guzi, what do you need? What must be written on it? Not yet, Sazi, but yeah, just tell them, put in our passport details, our full names, etc., and then send it over to us with the obviously the logo of the resort, etc. Then they do that like very timely, yeah. right? Sharp. Hi, yeah. So once they sent us all the letters, um, Fusion has sent us the letter of invitation. We have now our travel insurance because you need travel insurance for Vietnam. It needs to be able to cover you for five million rand in the event of anything happens to you, right? Mm. They need that when you apply for your visa, and Egypt didn't need that. They also need obviously your passports, accommodation flights, etc. Right? I guess so. We've gathered everything. Um, we have our photos. Sit in your hand. Sit in your hand. Sit in your hand. And like guys, if we're gonna do this ourselves, plus also we're saving money now by not using this person because that person charges 950 rand per person no. as a what service fee. Right? Then you still have to pay for the for visa. Your visa. So, <laughs> so it's two costs per person. Exactly. So that's four costs that you need to. Pay yeah, for. so and I guess it's you pay for a convenience, yeah, right? Service as well. And and, and I understand what where you came from when you paid for it for Egypt. Egypt. But for me, I was just like I can literally get to Pretoria myself. But yeah, I decide we will see. Okay, baby, let's go. See how many Pretoria. Let's figure out Pretoria, guys. As person to say to my man. Oh, before we even get to Pretoria, guys, we've been calling the the embassy in Pretoria. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. We've been calling the embassy in Pretoria to make sure we have everything that they need, right? Before we even get Exactly. This. And just to find out, to what's this letter of invitation they need about Bamboo King? Now, when I'm Bamboo King, guys, you can tell me voicemail. If voicemail is in what language? Yo, like, it's in Vietnamese. So, you can't, like... You can't hear what they're saying. Yo, like, that was... leave a message or what? You can't hear what they're saying. Shut I yeah. We decide, let's just go to Pretoria. It's just... About 30 kilometers away. Let's go. I see how I'm going to get. Give the guy our stuff. The guy's like, literally, like this guy's. I got a big news in Ufunanje, that letter of invitation. Yeah. Then he shows us an example of the letter of invitation, right? Shows us that example. As he shows us the example, we're like, we don't have this. And you can see, it's an official letter from yeah. Vietnam, from the embassy. With that a badge and a stamp, everything. And what logo and all of that. Everything. That's, like, we've never even seen this. Guys, thing. and it's written in Vietnamese. Yeah. <laughs> you can come into the country guys it's stress it's stress but yeah luckily as when we leave this guy gives us like a checklist of all the things that we need we have everything but we just didn't have that letter, that letter. right so on that letter you can t he gives us it's like if you don't have well we try to figure out what you were saying if you don't have like um you don't know how to get that letter contact these people and it's e-viva travel right hi yeah guys as we go, as we go, now driving back home, Uzandi, I'm stressed. I'm just like, baby, I'm going to email these people right now. As we're on our way back to Johannesburg, I email them. Emailing them, excuse me, someone answers the email, they tell me they're going to assign someone to me to assist, assist. me with this, right? Shab. 
So as I'm now speaking to these people, um, you can tell they're very efficient, you know, and I'm glad that they were able to speak English. I'm speaking to them, listen, we're coming to um, Vietnam, these are our dates, these are our flights, we're coming and we need that letter from immigration, the letter of, what was it called? It wasn't a letter of invitation. An approval letter. Approval letter. Yeah. Yeah, we need that, right? Also, on the, on the other hand, now like, he's speaking to other people. So, as I'm speaking to these people, communicating with them, telling them about days, whatever, we need this approval letter, how can you get that approval letter? Also, on this, on, yes, he's speaking to other people, he sent them the email, but also he's gone online to go research how to get a visa, and he finds that you can get a visa online. online yes. yes. So, first of all, I get this particular agency, right? And I speak to them. I'm like, guys, I'm trying to get a visa, blah, blah, blah. Can you assist me? Also, I want to book uh, an activity with you guys. But while I book the activity with you guys, can you also hook me up with the visa, right? They're like, yeah, no problem. We'll send you a link. You can actually do it online, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Then I go and research and I check on language. You can actually uh, get a visa online. So it's like $30 per person, 30 US dollars per person. Just apply online, whatever, whatever. So they send me the link to apply then i find out what okay after i do this e-visa so it's called an e-visa uh, an electronic visa so after doing it i asked them do i still need to deal with my embassy here in south the vietnamese embassy here in south africa or am i done right they're like no dude just do this thing online then you're done so i'm like hi oh, baby scrap like all the people you've been speaking to return we're going to vietnam we got this they sent me the link to like it's easy easy steps everything is smooth sailing I fill in the forms, I, I, like, I literally slide, like I flow through the form, yeah. flow, 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 then it gets to the end, it's actually not even the end, but like after the middle, Nyan, where they ask you which country you're from. Ah, Yo. see there, I'm like, I'm like, hi, bo. I am Fudangagas, come back, child. Starting all of, baby, please do it and check who it, can you? Guys, South Africa is not, not there. there. So there's 80 countries on that list and South Africa is not, not there. Not one of them. So yeah, I guess since Uzanik did not succeed, after he told me good baby, yeah, she are gonna get something get needed. We are done. Now I must be picking up the pieces, picking up the pieces and bring back my relationships. We are no baby. We need to stop. After you've ignored them for like a day or two. We are no baby. We need to stop. I guess shop. I guess so I carry on with my conversation. These people are telling them, listen, we're coming, like I told you, we're coming on these days. Shop. Then they tell me it was okay. In order for us to give you this letter, you need to be you need to book a stay with us like book your your oh, accommodation through us and you need to book some activities through us and the reason why they're doing that is because they are responsible for your stay in vietnam yeah. and yeah. the government needs to know Woody. they are condoms on the are in vietnam and the people responsible for them is e viva travel yeah. so that's why they need to know what you are doing every step of the way where you are staying ganja, ganja, ganja. And then when they said that, I was like, no ways. I told them, good to guys, that's going to be a bit impossible because we've booked our flights, we've booked our accommodation, and we've booked our activities, right? Mm -hmm. And then, um, also, he has a, had, a, had already booked some activities. Luckily, he could cancel. I was like, baby, mm -hmm. cancel the one activity. Let's book it through them and see. Let's see what they say. Yeah. We're like, okay, guys, we're willing to book this activity through you. Um, and then, but okay, sharp. You can book this activity through us, but then you're going to have to add transfers, which is more money for us because our hotels were giving us free transfers to the airport. But now we had to pay transfers through these people so that they... Because they're responsible for us, they need to beg the yes. airport, but is the food exactly, so that they kind of know what's not the airport, not the checking in, because mm. they even go into the check-in counter yeah. to make sure you're checked in, check your bags are in, and you're ready to go. I get sharp. But on top of that, they give us the prices for the activities and the transfers. On top of that, you need to pay $1,000. Per person. Per person. <laughs> As surety, and you will come out at the time that you said you would come out. If you don't do that, if you don't attend your activities, if you're not there for the transfers, and you don't 
come out of the country when you said you would, then you've lost 30k. Obviously, no. because 15, 15, 30k. Sharp. Plus I, the money of the activities, obviously, that you've paid you've for. You've paid well. for. Sharp. I hear when they give us the links of the payments, I'm like, payment first, 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 first. Because honestly, it's like, it is what it is. But before, but before, oh, I went before to, that. Yeah, before I went back to my traveling and I'm like, guys, is this something that actually happens? And they're like, this is something we don't know of. It's something we've never heard of. Um, but we'll try and find out and all of that. But they didn't really sort of like find out. They were like, okay, if you... Because I told them the particular travel agency. And they were like, okay, they know they this know travel agency. agency yeah. So it should be chill. It should be like over the board type of a thing. So, mm -hmm. and my travel agency was very helpful. It was called Vietnam Travel and Cruise and Travel. Mm. I think we'll put them in the description. But they were very, very helpful. Like they were also like prompt with their responses so vietnam is like five hours ahead but fusion Yo. your travel agency my Yo. travel agency they were responding like they were on the board and la, 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 so because when we look at the time we're like no it's actually 3 a.m that's it but they'd be <laughs> responding to our email so yeah. they were very prompt and helpful so yeah, yeah. So, so as long as your travel agency advises not to pay the thousand dollars each excuse yeah. me a surety then we must just wait until um june or oh yeah beginning of the month beginning of June to yes. actually see if regulations change, change and they and lift this thing this of, thing of an approval letter we're like, but we're like my guy is cutting <laughs> my yeah. guy we're cutting it very fast we're like no it's we'd rather just pay um if we end up going to Vietnam I guess we paid extra for yeah. the experience which I guess wouldn't be worth it but it is what it is right yeah. I guess sharp because it says patalamas patalangalo sharp guys it literally takes like two days ne? Yeah. For the letter two days then once that is done they so they apply for the letter through their embassy for you then they give yeah. you the letter once that was done we take our letter make sure we still have all our stuff because this one they had like training and work whatever so you couldn't go pretoria i call man figure guys same thing <laughs> Okay. <laughs> now we can look at the other things, Bruh, all your flights or whatever. Exactly. Oh, okay. I... Then only he goes through the other stuff, he checks the travel insurance. So we use um Santam. Now it's Santam. Yeah. Yeah. No, Sun TIC. TIC, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if it's but under Santam. Santam, it yeah. is under Santam. Yes, yeah. yeah, for our travel insurance, he goes through, he checks the amounts to make sure goods we recovered for enough, and all of that is done. Um, so we applied for the visa on Friday, but then we can come pick it up the following week on Wednesday. Nah. Nah. And Wednesday we couldn't go because it was on his birthday. And so Thursday. So we went on Thursday. And that was it. And then we we're leaving the following Tuesday. Yeah. And that's how we got our visas. So we'll add everything in the description box of all the people we spoke to and their numbers and their even their choices. I know Palisa was asking me, Palisa from Palisa and Tendo was asking me how um, they can get there because it yeah. is quite complicated. I know someone on Instagram as well, a gentle giant. I don't know if it's a gentle giant or it's a Caesar follower <laughs> <laughs> who uh, who's telling me that she's um, come into quite a few um, barriers exactly was trying to get to Vietnam. I think they ended up changing the destination as well because yeah. but you ended up paying it and then the surety comes back yeah muscle wheel in your country. You need yeah. to send them the split you need to send them a stamp on your passport, passport that says that you've left. left the country then they're able to bring back the money. Mm. So, so pretty much before you book many things or before you book your own things in Vietnam, get a travel agency like Eviva as well as my travel agent, which was Vietnam Cruise, Cruise and, and Travel. Travel. So try and speak to them first, Uguti. What are the conditions of them arranging a visa for you yeah. before you start making your own bookings and mm -hmm. then, then you should be fine. So that's pretty much the crux of the thing, the secret. And it could work for other destinations as well, I'm yeah. not sure. But yeah, just be in contact with these people yeah. when you're planning and all of that. But your flights, I don't think they do your flights. They do accommodation transfers and activities. And so, activities. So, yeah. so you might be as lucky as us. You might not be as lucky as us. You maybe foot in there, you might be um, required to book through them. Um, but yeah. I think because we had all the information with us and we were able to show them the information and letters from our booking confirmation from our accommodation. But they were like, well, okay, well. since you've booked, then it's fine. And so. the, uh, sorry, babe. Another thing, before we approached my travel agent, Eviva Travel, they said if your booking is in like two 
uh, a is week, a week or, or two, two, move it yeah. because you won't have your stuff within that. When we saw that, we were like, Mudimu. No. Mudim. Rasan. Yeah. But, but we're like luckily, uh, our stuff. So that is it from us, guys. Yeah, we man. hope. This was fun enough. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope it was informative. Yeah, and we'll there was a lot of information and yeah. mixed here and there, but we, we hope it did help. And yeah. 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 And, we'll have, and we'll have another travel video. Dedicated. Yeah, on how we plan, the savings, etc., 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 etc. Another thing, you also don't need a PCR test, but they do want a vaccination certificate to go to Vietnam. So if you are fully vaxxed, then you sort it. You don't need to do any tests. We almost did our tests and we found out, good. no, you actually don't. Yeah. So, But that's only if you're going to Vietnam straight. But if you're going to stay at the, at the places, then you might probably need, need to find it. out with your final destination if it's required um, and yeah but with Vietnam we're, we're sorted and your flight you need to find out from your flights if they need yeah some it's an airline, airline thing yeah. need um, a vaccination certificate or PCR test yeah so yeah and for us I think another reason why we had to make sure is because we were flying Singapore but we're not going to Singapore yeah. Well, so, we had a layover in Singapore, but yeah. we, that wasn't our final destination. destination. Yeah. So, yeah, you guys, that is it from us. We hope you enjoyed this. We hope it yep. inspires you to travel. And if you need more information, just chop, drop us a comment um, down below. And we'll be, we'll be happy to help you guys. Yeah, we're um, looking forward to your content in Vietnam. We just guys, plugged go. you. Yeah, go, Vietnam. guys. Go to Vietnam. Go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> But well, yeah, yeah, you guys, we'll see you guys again soon with another video and hopefully another travel update, update updated travel video very soon. Okay. Mm, yeah, man. Chovi. Cho. Bye. Bye. Chovi again.